So I've got my replacement spring and I've got the tension assembly unit that I've just now removed from the infinity. I'd recommend that you notice a few things about how this is set up. First of all, check on the amount of tension that you've got on that spring. It should be a decent amount of tension. The manual recommends adjusting the tension using these two Allen screws that are on the barrel and that will adjust this tension here. Also note that the gap that that tension assembly spring is in, that gap is where the tension spring is at the top away from you. When you set it back up, you want to make sure it's not at the bottom. It is possible to get it in the wrong position. Also note that by screwing in this white unit, you're actually doing what the um, automatic tension does, which is reduces these springs. So if I do this, that's actually going to increase the tension. So what they recommend is that you have three to four turns of the screw when you put it back together. So I would take a picture of how yours is right now before you take it apart. So to replace uh, the spring, what you're going to do is undo the barrel, the white plastic barrel, mm -hmm. and then just take this unit apart. Here we go. Note also that when we take that unit apart, note that this screw has got a long line. This screw doesn't go all the way in. So when we put it back inside, we are going to have to align that so that that, that screw, sorry, that spring is in the right position. But we'll go through that in due course. But just note it when you take it apart. You can put that to one side for now. To remove the spring, you need to just tilt it and get it so in a position where you can actually pull that out. Um, it's a question just fiddling around with it, to be honest. Um, and once you've got it out like that, you can now then just twist it to get the remainder out. Like, uh, I can see this, uh, there we go. There we go. I try not to, um, there we go. So once that's out, I can now turn it. So there is the barrel that it's going to go into, and we're going to put the new spring in that. So here's my new spring. So I'm going to put it in so that I twist it like this and then push it in to the barrel like that. OK, and keep it up there. Because that is um, is where it's going to. So when when you're looking at it sideways on, this spring is going to be moving up and down and, and creating the tension. Right, we're now ready to put this back in place. Now you can put that in there first and just make sure that's like that. And then this goes in here. And just feel for the position, feel for that position where I, I explained there was a cutout um, and you want that spring to be closest to you with the bend facing in that direction. I hope you can see that. So just check it and just move it around and make sure it's all nicely locked. Now you can put this screw. One end has got a screw. The other has the flats that are mentioned in the manual. And you're going to turn it so that as in this picture here, you've got the same number of screw showing. And you can feel it tightening. Double check again that this spring, now look, it's back. To how it was originally. So that unit is now ready to go back in our machine.